Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building machine learning use cases in Android. Till now we have completed image classification, flower identification, object and face detection. From now we will start with audio. So our first exercise is to build an audio helper activity which can help us in the next two use cases which are audio classification and the bird sound identifier. So just to show you what we are going to build today is this activity where uh, we will build this bottom buttons which will help us to start and stop recording of audio and these two text views. So if you check out the uh, ML series demonstrator app, the complete project, you can already run it and you can see it can detect uh, the classification, it can detect and classify audio as well as it can also output the number of channels and the bitrate uh, of the audio that we are speaking in. So if you are running this demo in the emulator uh, we need to do one more step is that once you click here in the settings of the emulator uh, come to microphone and then you need to enable this virtual microphone uses host audio input so once you enable it the emulator will pick up the audio from your own system uh, that doesn't uh, is not required in if you're testing on a real device but if you're working with the emulator that is required so now you can see it is detecting a speech classification. So now if I just snap my finger, you can see it will detect finger snapping. So let's stop it for now and let's get back to our ML series demo and start building this UI first. So for that, click on actually helpers and we can do a new activity. So new activity, empty activity. So this would be our audio helper activity and it will automatically generate a layout file also for us. So let's click finish and the activity is ready. So let's import the R and now if I control click on the activity Android helper, I'll be here and now I have this plain layout. So this will not have anything. You can see it's completely empty. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to add the two buttons which will be there at the bottom. So let me just add two buttons. Let's make it wrap content. And we'll just add a text. So one would be start recording. Let me just add the ID also. So this would be audio button start recording okay let's just copy and paste this one so let us make it stop recording so now if i go to split view i can see these are uh, at the top so what i need to do is just add the bottom constraint to one of the buttons or to both the buttons and then if you remember we go to design we select both the buttons right click and then we just create a horizontal chain So now let's click on this one. Okay, now so if I zoom in, I can see that at the bottom there are both the buttons which are now aligned at the bottom. So yeah, here. Now we will just add two text views, plain text views. Let's just drag and drop here. And uh, Let's go back to code view. First add the proper ID. So this would be audio output text view. Let's copy this ID and paste it and make it. Okay, let's remove the typo and this would be our specs text view. So two text views, one is output. 
one is specs. Let's go back to design. You can see it's here at the top. So we want the output text view to be on the top. So once that is selected, just click and add the parent uh, constraint to the top of the parent. And then we select the specs text view and we add a bottom constraint. Okay, let's switch off the hand and we'll drag it to any one of the buttons so that it comes down. And then we'll connect both of the buttons. And now, so, what we can do is, uh, let's try something else. So let's make the height as zero dp. Okay. Now let's see. So we will need to add one more constraint to the output text view. So which would be constraint bottom to top of the specs text view. So here, and then let's go back to design, choose both the text view and add a left and right or start and end constraint, both equal to zero. Here also, let's add zero and let's make the width as match parent so same for output text view you can actually make it match constraint also both will do the same thing so we have the output text view on the top and then we have the specs text view and then the buttons start recording and stop recording so our layout is ready next thing we need is to add the permission so even to record audio you need an audio permission so let's first go to the manifest and we can see we had added the external storage permission same way we will add the record audio permission now if we go to image helper activity we have a code to help us ask for the permission we'll just reuse the same so we'll copy this code and let's go to our new audio helper activity and instead of checking for read external storage, we'll just check for record audio. Okay. And then we need to now connect all the buttons and the text views that we have added. So first let's create the member variables. So let's keep it protected, easier to access. So text view. Output text view. So if you press Ctrl D, it will actually duplicate the line. And then we have spec text view. So let's get two more. This will be button. And then we actually have start recording button. Better to duplicate this. And then we'll just change it to stop recording. Now we will assign them after the set content view is called. So output text view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot audio output text view. So our buttons and text views are also aligned, and uh, we'll just add the code to start actually start recording the audio. So, so what we are going to do is uh, when the activity is launched, we will disable the stop recording button and only enable the start recording. And whenever we press start recording, we will disable start recording and then enable stop recording so that it would be a little easier for the user. So let's just create two methods, uh, public void start recording. And then start recording button dot set enabled false. So let us just import view. Let's duplicate this line, make it stop recording, and this would be enabled. Just 
copy this and make it reverse. So stop recording. This would become true and this will become false. So actual handling of the audio we'll do while we integrate audio classification and bird sound identifier. So this is it for now. Let's just test it. Uh, first, let's go to main activity and add the method to start the audio helper. Go to so I'll just name it audio classification, but it is actually just going to the audio helper activity so that we don't have to change it later. So for now, it will just go to audio helper. And if we go to the main function, we just add one more button. So this would be our button five. This would be below button four. And text would be for now audio classification and on go to audio classification. So let's run it. Okay, so you can see we have a new button, go to audio classification and we can see our permissions are working. I'll just allow it and you can see there are two buttons output and specs so if i do start recording and stop okay so we have not linked the buttons and also we have not disabled the stop recording at the start so let's just add that part so set enable false and if i go to the activity let's go to the code part add the click methods so on click start recording and this is stop recording okay let's test it again okay so you can see the button is disabled now if i press start recording other buttons uh, gets enabled and this is disabled so this is it for this video in the next video we will start integrating the audio classification see you there